How's it going everyone? Hello. Welcome to another awesome video. Hopefully you watched the first two of us talking about what is a fitness coach and then Michelle's awesome video talking about how social media plays a part into coaching. Mm -hmm. uh, and this video is all about... Um, we're giving you the first, or not the first, the five things you need to know before you sign up as a coach. So these are just like the top five things that we feel are important for every everyone who's interested in, in this opportunity to know before they even sign up. Yeah, because a lot of people always have questions and I don't like just messaging back and forth or emailing because you can never get it all done or like the questions never get answered. You can't hear the excitement or tone. So the video is a really good way to explain the most common questions that we had as well mm -hmm. and that everyone asks. So it's a good way to, to break it down. So first thing, number one with coaching is coaching is not a get rich quick scheme. Yeah, I feel all. like um, a lot of people out there look for something to just make a quick buck. And if that is what you are looking for, then this is definitely not for you. Um, this is more geared towards actually helping people um, achieve their goals, get healthy yourself, um, Lead by example. Yes. Um, there's a lot of things out there that are like, hey, sign up to do this or to sell this, get and 500 you get bucks, you get a bonus or whatever. Yeah. That's not what this is about. And if you go into it With focusing on the money, first and foremost, you're not going to have success because you're going to come off salesy and you're going to be pushy towards people. You really need to go into it like, I want to improve my fitness, add on to what I'm doing. I really, truly want to help people with legitimate workout programs, meal plans, lifestyle change, support, motivate them, and that's what it's all about. And if you really focus on helping people, the money is gonna come, but if you think it's gonna happen like that or without hard work, this isn't yeah. for you. I mean, this is just like any real business. It's gonna take a few years normally to build up to that point to where you are, are seeing a more know, successful, better, business. successful business. Yeah. Um, and actually see like that income happening. But like we said, if you want to do this to quickly make some money, then I definitely suggest you don't get into this. Yes. Number two thing that you should know before getting into coaching is you have to be the change that you want to see in your own business. So you have to, a big, thing that we do as coaches is like we said earlier you're leading by example and basically what that means is when you're helping people with lifestyle change and telling them that they need to work out develop healthier habits eat better be positive but you're not doing it yourself you're not going to be inspiring anybody to, to make a change so you have to set the example with yourself and your health and fitness and your business and be like this is what i'm doing every single day you share about it and document on social media like Michelle was saying, mm -hmm. and people will see what it takes. And um, it happens to us a lot of times where people see us posting all the time, and there's gonna be the people that don't wanna see it because they're unhappy with their life and their body, and they don't wanna be seeing somebody who's successful and happy, so they'll be negative or whatever. But there's also the people behind the scenes who are watching you share every single day, who are being inspired and motivated by you, and one day they reach out because they see it all the time. So you have to be the example. Yeah, this business isn't about just sell selling products. It's really about sharing your journey and, and sharing your story with people and inspiring others to start their own. Exactly. Number three. We are independent business owners. And what that means is this is a business and it's your business. You don't answer to anybody. You control your schedule, you control your hours. Um, I, a common question I get or a common excuse or whatever you wanna say is, I don't have time to coach. I'm a mom, I'm in school, I work two jobs, whatever. We all did, we all started that way. Like when I started coaching, I was working 40 to 50 hours a week and I'd be gone 10, 11 hours a day at my job and train for a half marathon, but somehow, I made it work because I fit it around my schedule. Um, but the nice thing is you don't have anybody telling you, you need to be doing these every day, you need to talk to this many people, if you don't do it, you're fired, 
You have to go out on the street and try to recruit people. You have to show up at church and be like, join my team. Join. No, like you're an independent business owner, so you can do what you want. Yep. And what are some of the things that you do that you enjoy because it's your own business? Um, obviously, like creating our own schedule. That was like one of the main things why we started this in the first place is because we wanted that freedom to be able to go do more of the things we love, be able to see family, friends, whatever. And now that we are both full time with this, which it took time to get to this point, but we are now full time, we create our schedule around whatever we want to do. So it's, I, that's one of my favorite parts is like if we want to go to go get coffee for an hour or whatever, we can go do that. Um, if we want to travel, we can bring our work with us. I mean, it's pretty cool, like the possibilities, and it's your business is it's your business. Like you can do whatever you want with it. Like if you want to stay late out on a school night, done. Like Wayne's World style, you get to control what you do. Like it's your business, it's your life, and that's what everyone dreams of. But you have to work for it. Yep. Number four, be real, be you, share the struggle. Mm -hmm. um, as coaches, people look at you in a different way because you're, you're leading by example and what does not work in this business is perfection because there is no thing as, such thing as perfection. Mm -hmm. You have to share the struggle and that's what makes you relatable to people. If you're always posting, Kill my workout, working out is easy, eating healthy is easy, I'm the man, like perfect lighting photos, you always look great, your makeup's great, people aren't going to relate to you because they can't, they're like, that's not me. Yeah, well and I feel like we get, well I don't feel like, we do get a lot of people that come back to us when we offer this opportunity and they're like, well, I'm not, I don't, I'm not in the best shape of my life right now, like, I can't coach or, you know, like something like that, but that's what makes you real. And that's what gets people to relate with you. Exactly, because if you wait until you're at the end of your journey, I mean, you're never at the end of your journey, but when you lose all the weight and you get in really great shape or whatever it may be, people go, well, I, I they see your end point, like I can't do that, you know? But they didn't watch the journey. But when you say, hey, I'm overweight, I'm unhealthy, I'm not where I wanna be, but I'm ready to take charge of my life and my fitness, and you start sharing that, everyone's at that point. America especially, is very unhealthy. They're gonna see that and go, oh my God, that's me. I'm gonna watch this person and see what happens. And you share consistently of you working out, making healthy habits, all that, and they relate to you because they are you. And that is a coach in a nutshell. Like, you have to be relatable and share the good days and bad. I slipped up, I had a cinnamon roll today and missed my workout. And so many people are like, I have cinnamon rolls every day. I'm like, yeah. oh man. And you can be like, well, you know what? Yeah, exactly. Look at her shirt. Like, what's it say? Pizza, donuts, and peanut butter and ice cream. No specific order. Like, we're real that people. Like, we're not perfect. We don't. Like, we don't want you guys to come into this thinking like, oh my god, I have to be this perfect thing. Like, I can't. I can't go eat ice cream. I can't go do this. Like, no. We want you to do that because that's what makes you real. Because you are a real person, and real people go do that. Exactly. Number five thing, big dreams make big doers. You have to have a strong vision. Mm -hmm. You have to have a strong why you are coaching and what you want out of it. Yeah, if you, if you come into this business with no like real vision of where you wanna go in life um, or like what you wanna do, you probably aren't gonna have that much motivation to keep you going. Obviously, you come into this probably to get healthy yourself and get better um, better shape or lose weight or whatever your goal is that way. That could obviously be a push towards like getting your business going and stuff, but you need to have like a really big why factor of what you want your life to look like in the future. Exactly, and you, you're gonna have the struggles in your business and your workout in your life, and if you don't have a strong enough reason to why you're doing this, you're gonna give up, you're gonna yeah. quit. It has to be, I wanna retire my parents. I want to be a healthy example for my kids. I want to quit my job. I want to be debt free. I want to lose 100 pounds. Whatever it is, it has to be strong enough that you're always reverting back to it and going, that's why I'm doing this. This is a hard day, but I can't give up because that's what I want to do. And that's what you got to keep going back to um, and, and focus on that for 
sure. Yeah. And maybe right now you're like, well, I don't really know what I want to do. Well, maybe this is the time to really sit down and be like, what do you want your future to look like? What do you want to be doing five, ten years from now? Exactly. So. The million dollar question. How do you sign up? How much does it cost? It's not what people think. First off, you're not buying any programs or meal plans or anything to it's sell to people. It's all done through a warehouse. You send people links and everything. It's, it's shipped to their house. Right. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, when I tried to open up my own fitness studio a few years ago and I researched what it would cost for rent and equipment and marketing and all that stuff, I was looking at $100,000 plus loan from the bank to get started. And if I did that and I made no money in the first year, I would still have me be paying my monthly loan. And that's what's normal. Well, that's crap because you're setting yourself up for failure. This, what it gets started to get coaching is right now in February is $199 gets you your complete coaching business with all your training, all your tips, our team training website. You get access to every program available to you, every nutritional plan, a fix it cooking show, inclusion into our team page, unlimited resources, and that gets you started as a business owner where you can make an infinite amount of income with how hard you work. So basically you're just investing in yourself, pretty much. You're investing in your own health. You're getting started with the program um, and nutrition and all of that, and that's, that's how you start, which is pretty cool. You don't have to like take out this huge loan that you don't know if you're gonna be able to pay back or not. This, it's literally less than $200, there's your business. And our goal for you is to make enough to cover that within like your first- 30 days. Yeah, first 30 days as a coach. So your initial like loan into investment into your business, you make back your first month, and then every time after that you're increasing, you're building your business and you're growing. And we have all the tips and training and tools for that. But basically, you're getting all this stuff in return with your money. When you go to the bank and get a loan, you get the loan, and then if you don't make any money, you still gotta pay that loan. This, you're getting something back, and if you don't make any money the first month, like you're getting products in return, you're getting workout programs, you're getting nutritional plans, so you're not out anything, but you have the potential to be growing that business with consistency and hard work. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, you like all these videos, you like what you heard, you like what you saw, and this is something you really want to take advantage of it, and we highly encourage you to. Um, it's been a complete life-changing experience for us. Oregon to Puerto Rico, freedom to do what we want. just starting our third year. Just starting our third year, and we still have big plans, and we want to help people who we relate to, who are connected with us, that want to take advantage of this opportunity, we want to help you have the most success possible. So, reach out to us, or whoever invited yeah. you to this opportunity and get going and so we can add you to the team page and meet you if we don't know who you are or get to know you even better and uh, yeah, we're excited for you. So, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye.